evening. It's um, seven o'clock. It's uh, Wednesday, July 27th. Sorry, I had to walk, look at my watch. I, the days just seem to keep running together. I just got to speak to my wife. Um, she was on a cop out list today and she actually got her blood pressure checked for the first time since being discharged from the hospital on Friday after suffering a stroke. It's now Wednesday. So Friday to Wednesday, no vitals were checked. She still has not received uh, blood pressure medication. Her blood pressure was 151 over 90. And uh, the nurse goes, wow, your blood pressure is still really high. And uh, my wife goes, yeah, because I've still not received any blood pressure medication. Oh, well, we'll have to send another cop out. There's no doctors here on Wednesdays. So she got to see a nurse to find out her blood pressure is still high. And she had to send, send yet another cop out to uh, complain about not receiving blood pressure medication with her blood pressure as high as it is. So the vicious cycle continues of um, uh, neglect. Um, whether it be intentional or unintentional, neglect is neglect. Um, it's kind of like um, uh, Director Carvajal um, acting like, well, I have people that should have taken care of that. Well, you are aware of the problems and you didn't do anything about it. So it, it, you, it, the buck stops with him. Um, he's responsible. Same thing. Like, it's neglect. You, you chose to ignore it. You were aware of it and you chose to ignore it. However, something amazing happened today. It actually started last night. Um, I was laying in bed watching Shark Week. And um, of course, by myself, um, the kids were already laying in bed. And um, got a message from an old coworker who I used to coach football with. And uh, he told me that um, he wanted me and uh, he wanted to pay. He um, he wanted to pay for my flight, my uh, car rental, and my hotel to go visit my wife and said, I have to go visit my wife. So um, I got to tell my wife on the phone I was coming to see her. And uh, she started crying and she's like, I get to see you, it's been so long. And um, you know, we can't hold hands or hug because of the code red but we could sit there and I said, I don't care. I just want to be in your presence and be with you and um, talk without worrying about having a beep or a shitty connection or an echo or the video cutting in and out. I get to just sit there and, and look at my wife and uh, not feel rushed and not feel like I, ha I don't have enough time. So um, I get to go see my wife next weekend and I'm so excited. And uh, I'm so forever grateful for this man. And I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to put his business out there. But uh, if it weren't for him, um, I wouldn't be able to go and do this. So uh, thank you. Thank you, brother, from the bottom of my heart. God bless you. Uh, and uh, he said, you know, Mike, a lot of people will tell you that, you know, they're praying for you. And we're praying for you. And uh, I'm going to pray. We're going to pray. He goes, you know, prayer is only part of it. You know, you've got to help your brothers. And uh, I see a brother in need, and uh, I want to help you. And uh, he threw out other ways. He's trying to help me with uh, legal fees and, and other things. And I'm just so grateful because uh, without it, I wouldn't be able to see her. And uh, with this medical scare we just had, I, I don't want to miss any opportunity I have to see my wife. So um, for that, sir, I'm forever grateful, I'm forever in your debt. And um, it's amazing to know that there are inherently good people in this world. There are good people in this world that care about people and uh, do the work of God on this earth. And, uh, and God is good all the time and all the time God is good. Even in times like this where I don't understand, he's good, man. And he's like, Mike, I felt that I was supposed to come to you and help you and talk to you. He goes, you know, I've kind of tried to hit you up before and uh, he was like, I didn't get an answer. I go, I know, um, I've had a couple of people reach out to me. It's, it's crazy because um, 
I'll get this message like, hey, I just felt compelled or I felt like today's message or my sermon or my Bible study today or, or my devotion today was speaking to me to speak to you or share it with you. And it's happened so many times recently. And uh, for that, I'm grateful. So I know I got really religious on this post, but uh, honestly, right now, we all could use a little more uh, God in our life. And especially with our loved ones locked away, if, um, you know, you, you refuse to listen or, or you're not wanting to hear him, um, he's, he's screaming at you. And uh, eventually you're going to look up and he's going he's gonna to finally say, so you heard me now. So you finally hear me? It took that to get you to hear me. And, um, yeah, so, um, man, it's just, uh, I'm going to continue to keep charting this journey. I'm going to keep, uh, fighting the fight and, um, uh, share my wife's story. I'd love to, to have other people on calls. I'm working out, trying to, I, I, I don't want to do the whole podcast thing. I think everybody and their mother does it and it becomes played out, but, I'd love to have the ability I'm working on trying to uh, where I could share other people's stories um, because if big time media is not going to pick it up, you know, at least we could share it amongst ourselves. And uh, even if it doesn't make change directly, um, creating a network within ourselves as uh, loved ones of incarcerated people or former incarcerated people uh, working to help other people out. Uh, that are dealing with uh, these tragedies and um, these inhumane conditions that their family, friends, and loved ones are being put through, uh, then then it's a good thing that we come together and do that. Uh, there's no reason we can't. And uh, many hands make light work. So uh, with that being said, and after I, uh, trust me, I was a lot worse late, earlier. Um, never felt so um, a wave of emotion come over me like it did. Uh, but uh, thank you. Thank you again for that uh, gift and that donation. And um, I hope there's people out there that are loving you and, and loving your family and, and helping out in any way, shape, or form that they can so that you get to see your loved ones, talk with your loved ones, um, and continue to keep fighting for your loved ones. Because to be honest, like to me, this is that I've never had a greater love in my life that I've fought so hard for. Um, <laughs> And uh, I just want to continue to keep fighting. And I uh, will until uh, the final bell rings. And uh, I'm told there's nothing left to fight for. So uh, thank you, God. Thank you to everyone that watches. Uh, hopefully you're going to keep uh, trekking along this journey with me. And um, any encouraging words you can offer, uh, please do so. Um, there are days and there are moments when I go back and I read them because... Uh, when it gets real hard and you need it the most take care of yourselves